go guys. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind. But uh, I'm just doing a few kilometers to the base of Alduez to warm up. It's about two degrees outside but the sun's out. So it's uh, lovely on the Brompton. Hopefully I've got everything in the bag that I need. Water, food, spare tube, pump, couple of tools, and some money. Um, yeah, so I'll just, here's a quick look around. Direct sunlight, so you might not see, and also the wind, you're probably not gonna hear anything. But yeah, surrounded by mountains. And uh, yeah, it's all a bit exciting. Hopefully I can make it up the top in one go. Okay, cheers guys. Hey guys, about halfway up Alduez. Excuse my breathing. This is turn 13, 1120 meters. Um, yeah, it's been it's been hard. I'm not going to lie. The first sort of three or four k's is killer. It's the steepest part of the mountain, apparently. That really took it out of me and I think I pushed too hard. I've only stopped once and that was for road work, so I'm just trying to keep my legs going. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful and I think it's gonna get more beautiful, but anyway, I've gotta go. So I've been climbing about an hour and five minutes now. And I've just gone past turn five down there. And uh, that's uh, just over 1500 meters. Uh, I've kind of settled into a nice rhythm now. Legs are burning a bit, but um, I know I'm closer to the top now. So I've just gone through the final hairpin all the way up to Alduez. Almost at 1800 meters now. Uh, I'm tired. My brain's clearly not functioning well because the last two or three Ks have been really hard. And I've just realized I've been in the higher ratio gear at the back. So that was just like a godsend finding that. But now even that easiest gear's hard. I guess the altitude's getting to me a bit. The fact that I weigh 95 kilos or whatever. I'm not a climber and I'm on a Brompton. But it's been amazing. I've still got a few hundred meters to go in climbing. That is probably another kilometer and a half, I think. Okay. I'll see you soon. Uh, I've just uh, reached the top of the climb up the airs on my Brompton. Um, it's a six speed Brompton. Uh, I've got a few trick bits on there from Joseph Kuzak. Uh, special cranks, which are actually a bigger chain ring. So it was like a high, uh, high gear six speed um, a few other trick bits his handlebars um, his seat post what else oh yeah the beautiful uh, beautiful clamps there you can see 
really nice that, that they're still tight the whole way up and come loose. Um, <coughs> yeah, so I, uh, I managed to do the challenge that I set myself. I climbed all the way to the top. That's uh, Alpduez down there, the actual main town. So I'm around 2,000 meters. So I've climbed just above that. Um, I did it all uh, about to here to <coughs> in about an hour and a half. Um, I had to stop for a couple of minutes at the uh, roadworks <coughs> where they had traffic lights in place, which was a bit of a blessing in disguise, if I'm being honest. And um, and I stopped again for a Mars bar, which was uh, which was much needed. And then uh, I stopped a third time at a water point, which was about two thirds of the way up. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the tap didn't work. So uh, I'm about to go and find some water now and uh, start the, the amazing descent, which is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to take it easy though, because I can't imagine the, uh, the caliber brakes holding out for too much uh, of that descent. But anyway, it's beautiful up here, as you can probably see. It's, uh, I don't know, it feels like it's, feels like it's 25 degrees. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a bit of color because I had my helmet off for the last third of the climb, which I never normally do, but I just, I had to. It just, uh, mentally, I needed it the last bit. The first bit was very steep, very hard. First three or four, five Ks even. Then it flattened out a little bit, uh, which was lovely. And I thought it was going to continue like that. But then unfortunately the last sort of third is an absolute slog. And you could see the roads very clearly up above you. So uh, kind of played mind games with me. Um, but anyway, I pushed on and, uh, and here I am. Uh, yeah, so uh, amazing, amazing to be back here. I actually raced a mountain bike World Cup, uh, downhill World Cup, right here, right, the finish was here somewhere just near the main chairlift, um, yeah, in 2003, so uh, 12 years ago, 12 and a half years ago, it's June, I think, or July, um, but yeah, I think it was raining a lot of the time then, uh, this is, you know, what, November the 6th, and it's just beautiful, but anyway, I've got to get on my way, um, but yeah, I'm glad I could share at least some of this experience with you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm impressed with myself because I'm not, I'm not really much of a climber to be fair. Um, but I just, I just pushed on and you know, thought of a lot of people that that uh, that I've lost over the years. And um, and yeah, it was just, you know, I'm not getting any younger, so I thought if I don't do it now, <laughs> I'll never be able to do it.
That was fun. <laughs> down there again. What a that was. Oh my gosh. 